I'm building a billion dollar startup and of course I'm going to use Convex because Convex is the perfect backend for both your web and mobile applications. That being said, there's one thing I extremely hate and that's this. Notice that I'm refreshing my site and because the data isn't available right away, you see that flash and I hate that. The beautiful thing though about this site is it's completely reactive, meaning if I submit this waitlist form, you notice two went to three. One thing I wish is when someone gets on the page that they don't see that jump. Now you can add a loading state, you can add a skeleton, but with Convex there are actually primitives that allow you to have the desired state, which is when I refresh, the data is right there and then if I were to enter my email, everything is reactive. How do we set this up? Let's head over to Excaladraw real quick. I want to give you a quick crash course on how Convex works. The way Convex works is your client calls the Convex functions, the Convex functions interact with the database, the database responds to the Convex functions, and the Convex functions give the client the data it needs. Convex is built in a way where it forces you to make the right decision. What do I mean? You cannot get data from the database directly from the client. Data can only be accessed directly from convex functions. Now understanding this, how do we solve this problem? How do we achieve the desired state? Well, first thing I'm going to do is show you the code of this page. So let's head over to VS Code and I'm going to show you that I have a waitlist.ts. And waitlist.ts, there's only two, there's one mutation and one query. The query basically gets the total amount of waitlist, right? So I query the waitlist table and I collect all of them and then I just return the length. And for add to waitlist, I first check if any exist. If there's any that exist, I return nothing. But if this is a new entry, what's going to happen is we're going to insert the email I collect in the waitlist table. So pretty simple stuff. And in the home.tsx file, I'm calling use query. Basically, I am getting the total number of waitlists. And then I have a use mutation here where I add to waitlist. And basically where these are called in the form, you see here on submit, once I verify that it's not an empty space and it's actually an email, I'll pass the email to the add to waitlist uh, mutation. And this is the mutation we looked at earlier. Email is part of the arguments. This gets stored into the waitlist table. We love this. When it comes to fetching the total number of waitlists, the way that's done is, again, I have this use query here. I am querying the uh, waitlist table. I have this query function, this convex function. Remember, you can only get data from the database or mutate data in the database by calling a convex function. The convex function is then called on the client. The client has no direct access to the database, and this is why I love convex. Not a lot of backend as a service providers think about this. They allow you to call the database directly from the client, and you end up getting wrecked. Now, going back to home.tsx, when I look at waitlist length, I call it here in this p tag, and this looks all fine and dandy. But when I refresh the page, notice it flashes. Now, why is that? This is because I'm fetching the data on the client. And the way this is working right now, if we were to expand this client box right here, this is what we'd have. We have our browser and then we have the server. Essentially, what happens is when someone goes to your website, the browser requests HTML to the server, right? So it's like, give me the HTML. The server then returns the HTML. Now, once the HTML, the static shell has been returned, the browser then now calls the use query uh, hook. And then use query is the convex function that gets data from the database. Database returns data from to the use query. And then now we see the data. Again, to better understand this flow, browser requests HTML, server returns basic site shell, meaning it's going to be some HTML and some bundle JS. The browser runs the JS, right? Uses the use query hook and then fetches data from the convex functions. Convex functions gets the data from the database. The data we called using the use query function is now available. So this is why when I refresh, there's a second where the data is not available. That's because the browser is rendering the HTML. Once the HTML has been rendered, then it goes, calls the use query. Now that you know why the flashing happens, how do we make the desired state happen? How do we make the data available as soon as the page is rendered? And all we need is some SSR magic. And Convex has functions for us to call on the server to be able to fetch the data on the server and pass it to the client. So the data is both instant, but also reactive. So when I enter that form, I can see it change live. I'm back on home.tsx and then you can see this is a client rendered component. 
But now I'm going to go to page.tsx and you see in page.tsx I'm calling home page, right? This is this component right here. But I'm passing waitlist total to home page. Now it's interesting, we see something new here, a new function here called preload query, which we get from convex slash next.js. And basically what preload query does is it fetches the data, the total waitlist data on the server. And in fetching this data, what we now can do is we can pass this data to the client component. Now to better understand this code and what's happening here, let's go back to Excalibur. Now this is SSR at work. The browser is going to request the site HTML, but this time it's also going to request the data. So the HTML and the data are being requested by the browser initially. What happens is the server now is going to call that function. It's going to request that query function. The function is going to call the database. Database returns the data. The data is returned to the server. And when the server returns that static shell, it's also going to be returning the data alongside with it. That's why on this version of the page, when I refresh, you see that we see the HTML, we see the components, but we also see the data. This is SSR at work. Now here is the issue. If we leave it just at that, what we're going to have is we're going to have a site that yes, renders the data with the HTML, but it's not going to be reactive. But here's the beautiful part. Convex solves this as well, and you get the best of both worlds. So I get SSR, meaning the data is going to be streamed with the HTML, but I also get that client side reactivity. How do I do that? In the browser, when the data is returned, I'm going to be passing the data to a new hook called use preloaded query. And what use preloaded query is, it's essentially use query, but with the initial data passed to it. That's why the initial data is rendered right away. But then if I enter um, another email, it right away, you see that it's quick and it's instant. So convex gives us the best of both worlds. Now you understand what preload query does. What we're going to do is we're going to go to home page and we're going to pull what we pass down here, waitlist total. So we're going to get waitlist total. And again, to make sure everything's type safe, you import preloaded. And this is the type of api.waitlist.waitlist total. This is again, the query function in waitlist.ts. I'm going to hit save. So we're good to go. But notice how it's we're still using use query. We need to change this to use preloaded query, right? And then what I'm going to pass to use preloaded query is waitlist total. Again, waitlist total, if I go back to page.tsx, is preload query, the same call, api.waitlist.waitlist total. When I hit save and I go back to the page that originally was client side rendered and I refresh, notice how the data is available instantly. And then if I enter a new submission, it updates right away. Again, to fully understand the flow, browser requests site HTML and data, server calls convex functions, convex functions query the database and return result, server returns rendered HTML with data included this time. When it was the SPA version, the HTML was rendered with bundle JS, then the browser had to run the JS, which is it calling the use query hook. But this time, the HTML and the data are returned together. The browser gets ready to use HTML with the data. And then the client side hydration happens, meaning we pass the initial data to use preloaded query. That's why when I entered the form, it was again reactive. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Convex is your complete backend, giving you the right primitives on how to build excellent user experience for your customers, both on web and mobile applications. Using these primitives, you can make the right decision, build the billion dollar business and not have to worry about your backend. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you want to see next. If you have any questions, I want to see it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.